Now, if you have a hunch back kind of like this, where it's curved, your head goes forward, and you have this hunch where you can see the apex of it is right about here, I'm going to give you some exercises that will correct that area. Because when the head gets stuck forward, there's a lot of tension because the muscles have to work very hard to hold up that 15-pound weight of your head. And all those muscles attach with the skull and the neck all the way down. It can go all the way down here. And it's constantly tight. So you have a constantly tight mid-back, mid-low back, and neck. So that's what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you exercises to fix that hunch. And also I'm going to give you the best sleeping positions with a hunchback. My name is Dr. Rob Bates. I'm a chiropractor and a certified athletic trainer. And before you do these exercises, make sure you check with your healthcare provider make sure that this is correct for you. First exercise, you just want to warm up. You're going to do all these exercises before you go to bed. So you want to go ahead and do the cat-cow. You're just going to go ahead and flex your spine and then extend it. You want to go through this motion. Basically, you just want to get movement in the spine. You want to accentuate each motion, the flexion, and then you want to accentuate the extension and bring your head all the way back. So you want to do about 10 repetitions to start the motion of the spine. Okay. Next exercise is elephant ears. You're going to take your hand, bring it up to your ear, and you're going to rotate your elbow open, open it all the way up as far as you can go, and come back down, rotate it back up, and you want to do about 10 repetitions each side. Since there's going to be a lot of tension at neck and the skull, upper back, what we want to do is we want to do what we call eccentric neck. So you want to bring your hands, interlace your hands, bring your chin to your chest. You want to open up the elbows, and then you want to force, bring your head up into extension, but keep your elbows out. Keep pressure on it so you feel a lot of tension in the front here. Then you want to reverse it, bring your hands behind your head, open up the elbows, bring your chin to your chest, keep it under tension so you can feel the stretch down to your mid-back, bring your chin all the way to your chest. Then you're going to reverse, bring your head all the way back, feel in the front of your neck. This is going to lengthen and strengthen and loosen up that neck from being so tight from the forward head posture. You want to do about 10 repetitions. Next exercise, we're going to work extension of the thoracic spine. So you get a nice malleable pillow. You can kind of get it into a, a ball here. And you want to... Put it right at the apex of this curve. Try and bring your hands out, open up your thumbs so they're pointing straight up. And you want to brace abdominal muscles, brace the glutes. Then you want to lift your chest off that. And the fulcrum is going to be right at that area where you have the biggest hunch. So when you come up, go ahead and bring it up. Hold it for a 10 count. You're going to hold it for a 10 count and then relax. Go back down. You're going to bring it back up. This is going to isolate and strengthen those specific muscles that are right around that joint that actually needs to get more extension into it. So you want to do 10 repetitions with a 10 second hold of this exercise. Next exercise, we're going to traction out this thoracic curve here and get that. So we want to place the foam roller right at the apex of that curve. So we're going to lie down. You're going to feel it right in that spot. You're going to keep your knees bent. You're going to brace the abdominals and the glutes just slightly. You're going to open up your chest, palms open, and you're just going to lie in this position. It's Get it, and it's just a stretch or tractioning over that area because the goal of this is to do this stretch for 10 minutes. At first, you're not going to be able to do it because the weight of your head is 15 pounds and it's pulling back that forward head posture. It's going to be a lot of pressure that you're not used to in this area. So you're going to do it for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then each day, consecutive day after that, you want to
you want to add on 30 seconds to a minute until eventually you get to that 10 minute mark. It's important to get up to that 10 minute mark because that will allow for a ligamentous creep to where it actually stretches out the ligaments of the thoracic spine and it'll help permanent correction of that hunchback in the thoracic spine. So when you come out of this position, you always want to assist yourself with your hand. Brace your abdominals, come on up because it's in a deep stretch and you want to be able to, you want to avoid straining your neck. The best position to sleep when you have a hunch back posture and a forward head posture is on your back. You want to go on your back. So you want to start off there. So you want to get a malleable pillow. You want to have a firm mattress. So otherwise, if you have a saggy mattress, your spine, when you lay on it, will go into a big slouch position and it'll make that hunch back worse as you sleep. So you need a firm mattress and a and a malleable pillow. So first thing you want to do is line your back. And you want to avoid too much pillow to where your head's going to be stuck in an upward position like this. So you want to form it. Go ahead and form it so it comes back down further. So it's underneath your neck more. A little more. So you want to Almost roll it up to where it's like a roll, and she, her chin will tilt back just a little bit. Now, that's the position that you want to be in. Some people won't be able to get in that position immediately, but you can gradually work into that position little by little. The next thing you want to do is if you're uncomfortable when you're sleeping and you want to put a pillow underneath your legs, that's fine. So go ahead and slip this one under. Just like this. It's hard to stay in this position all night, so it's best to go from side to back to back to side and keep rotating that throughout the night. So when you move to your side, you can move that bottom pillow in between your legs. And then you want to adjust this malleable pillow to where you can puff it up a little bit so it can fill up the area from the head to the shoulder so you don't get a kink in your shoulder. And then you just want to repeat this, and just as you're moving around throughout the night, you can change those positions and alter the position of those pillows in the appropriate areas.